Hey friends, tonight I am at Epcot because I have dining reservations at Tepanito, the hibachi restaurant in Disney World. I am so excited to see them cook in front of me, especially during the pandemic and social distancing. It'll be nifty to see how they do that. And plus, I'm excited to eat the food. It'll be my first time dining here. So, let's go do this. Before we check in for our reservation, I want to show you around the Japan Pavilion here at Epcot. There are so many things back here and there's an interesting things you can shop for, things you can drink and eat, and even some hidden Mickeys. So I'm going to show you some of those and then we're going to get to dining. My reservation isn't for another 30 minutes, so if we don't get to everything, we'll do some more looking and browsing around the pavilion after dinner, if I'm not too full. One thing that's really cool in the Japan Pavilion is the Koi Pond out front. And it actually has one of the hardest to find hidden Mickeys. I'm gonna try to browse around and if you can see it, you can uh, let me know in the comments. But I mean, once you're looking for it, it's pretty noticeable. But how about these fish? Isn't it amazing? Look, they all think I'm about to give them something to eat. Right behind the Koi Pond is the Quick Service actual location here in the Japan Pavilion. And it's got a beautiful place that you can come sit down and eat and it's always quiet up there. This is it right up here. Isn't it so beautiful and peaceful? I absolutely love it. And they have a little walkway right here where you can actually walk like kind of over the Koi Pond. And it's so beautiful. I'm glad that they have these railings here because we don't want anyone to actually fall into a Koi Pond. I've seen that happen in TV shows before. Normally there are two sit-down restaurants actually in the Japan Pavilion, Tokyo Dining and Tapanito, but Tapanito is the only restaurant that reopened after the closure. So I'm excited to actually try that one out, but if I like it here, I'll probably come back and do Tokyo Dining when that opens as well. You used to check in right here, but it looks like this is stroller parking now, and it says the operating hours are noon to 7.40 p.m. There are so many different things I can show you back there and I'm gonna show you maybe afterwards, but now it's time to check in for our reservation. I'm excited to just kind of explore around the restaurant. I'm super hungry and I like just like looking around at things when I've never dined there before because it's one of the coolest things about Disney is that's what you're paying for basically is the experience. I mean, you really can't find restaurants like this unless you're in Japan and like, you know what I mean? Like there's, there's not restaurants like you can go to a different hibachi, but like you'll never get like all this experience experience and rich culture unless you're in Japan or someone there that is just really immersive I mean I would love to see that another really cool thing is the view from up here take a look at this isn't it beautiful Wow it's a little bit gloomy out because it was raining but we can see all the people having fun enjoying their time at Epcot I love it up here isn't it just so beautiful up here I love it and like nobody's actually walking up here. You can see a big difference of flow of traffic. So I think this is reserved for just restaurant guests. And like I said, here are the two different restaurants, Tepanito and Tokyo Dining. We're going to Tepanito. Very fancy. I'll show you around a little bit. That on the other side is Tepanito. Over here is Tokyo Dining. This is the restaurant that's not open yet. But take a look at the view. Holy moly, right? I want to be up here. I've never been here before. But I would love to just like dine right here and just look out and people watch at Epcot and the World Showcase. Now we're going back. I'm excited. <laughs> it's good. I'm so excited. I've never eaten here before. No, first timer. <laughs> Thanks. Absolutely. Look at how they move the plexiglass. That's really easy, right? So like you dine at a table and they actually have the plexiglass separating. So you get to actually just kind of be in a safe distance. 
now that we're actually seated at the table or the grill, it might be a little loud in here because we are underneath the hood ventilation system and also there is another big party on the other side of the room, but for the most part we have our own little section over here and it's very pretty. There are like two different grill or tables in this separate one room itself. And I like all the color scheming in here. It's very, very pretty. Here's the grill itself. That's where they're gonna be preparing our meal. And like I said, they had the divider. So these are tables that normally, unless you're a big party, they would split up. So like a party of three will sit there or two will sit here. I'm sure they have a max amount of people that would be joined if they're not all together. And I like that it moves, so like you can move it whatever direction need be. Very fancy. We'll take a look at the drinks here. They have a whole bunch of different beers that I actually like. So I might do the premium beer tasting, but they also have a beer shandy where they'll take your Corinne draft and add fresh squeezed grapefruit, lemon, and orange juice, or orange juice. That sounds pretty interesting. When you actually check in up front, they ask you if you have an annual pass or Disney Vacation Club, so they'll apply the 10% discount right there. I think that's really nifty and like it's very interesting to do it right off the get-go. When it comes to appetizer, I think I might get the spicy calamari, be a little adventurous there, and then they have sushi and then a whole bunch of different other offerings, and I think I'll get a combination of chicken and steak. So you Thank you. And then you get the little extra. Fancy. Is that what I'm supposed to do with it? Am I supposed to put it in the beer? No, you're supposed to eat it, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be delicious. That was not supposed to go in there. actually ended up getting the spicy calamari as my appetizer and then the combination chicken and uh, steak and you can upgrade the steak to the filet if you choose to I didn't I didn't want to do that since I was getting the calamari but also they have a ragu a5 cut and it's $75 and that's actually an amazing thing because it's hard to actually find wagyu in the United States the actual Wagyu steak, like I said, is a four ounce Japanese A5 cut. It is $79. I'm not ordering it, but somebody at my table did, and we're gonna actually see it prepared. I wish I could buy it. I mean, but it is $75 for just a little tiny piece. I'm very tempted though. actually eat the egg mate, the more you want to drink actually. This is really funny because now I'm like addicted. Steak shrimp and wagyu. Right. <laughs> and steak and chicken. Also uh, calamari squid. Yes. And sauce on the side. Very good. Because of uh, spicy. Yeah. Okay. You put the sauce on it. Sauce on it? Yeah. And on the side? Yeah, that'd be alright. That's how I recommend
right there. Isn't that crazy? Wow, that looks amazing, doesn't it? He's cutting up my calamari. So you can see we have the <laughs> spicy calamari. They brought out some rice. And then we got the noodles, zucchini, carrots, and onion. Oh, I'm so excited. You're great at this. <laughs> I am excited to try the calamari. So I'm going right in for it. Look at this. Oh, it's so hot though. Oh boy. Now we're cooking up the main entrees here. The calamari is so amazing. Not too spicy. Medium. Yep. We got the steak over there. We got the chicken, the shrimp, lobster. Very, very excited for this. But I'm sold now. I can officially say I love calamari. I mean, I love this. This is so delicious. No more Nemo. No more Nemo. There, guys, that's the A5 Wagyu. Holy moly! bit of it that was so delicious and the noodles and the cucumber so good but now we got the chicken and the steak and I'm excited for that the finished product it's amazing isn't it oh boy no. I am so excited to dive into this oh, oh. I think the first thing that I'm going to go for is a little bit of the chicken. I'm going to try the chicken here. Oh boy. So good. And now, a little bit of the steak. decided I will be coming back here I love it I love it so much and the next time I'm going all in I'm getting the 85 I'm doing it now I'm very happy though now that I know that I'm such a fan I'm definitely worth it I'm definitely coming back I am definitely going back the rice along with everything I have and I'm even gonna put some of the sauce from the uh, spicy calamari right in there. This is so good. I love it. I legit didn't leave anything behind. So, so good. I even ate all these. 
Wow, well now I am all done. I finished my whole plate. I was gonna get dessert. I don't think I could fit it in. What a bang for the buck, I gotta say. I mean, I got an appetizer, a flight of beer, and chicken and steak for like 60 bucks. That's like a really, really good deal. I absolutely loved it. I am definitely 150% coming back just to experience the A5 Wagyu. When I seen them making it, I was getting so envious, like I wish I ordered it, I should have done it. But you know, you have to be conscious sometimes, you know? You never know and you know what I mean? For me, I think now it is 100% worth it because now I'm a big fan of this restaurant. This is one of my favorite places to eat in Epcot. I'm glad that I'm going around and doing all the different restaurants at Epcot because normally I kind of stay sheltered with what I eat so this is this is an amazing experience now I think we're gonna move along and I'm gonna show you some of the shopping opportunities you can do here I'm very excited because now I'm such a big fan of that restaurant like I said I'm definitely gonna come back and I'm gonna be a lot more adventurous I was pretty adventurous with the calamari I have to be up front I mean normally I don't eat calamari and I don't eat like sauces like that but it was phenomenal everything all runs into basically a one-way pattern so you go in the store here and it goes all the way around so we'll go in and just show some cool stuff that you can buy and shop for one of the things that i absolutely love about this place is all the different sword umbrellas that they have i always see people having them and i'm like one day i'm gonna get an umbrella that's a sword as well and honestly even when i plan on coming to the park when i know it's gonna rain i still don't actually bring uh an actual umbrella with me so i don't know if i'd ever actually buy one because i only keep them in my car and i really never use them this is where they usually have the pick a pearl but it looks like because of social distancing and the pandemic they actually shut it down very interesting because i think at universal they're still doing it but honestly this one's better than universal Oh wow, look at these fancy hats right here. Maybe next time I come, I should buy one of these hats and then wear it. I like it. They got all the security tags. I don't know which one I'd get though. Probably, probably this one. Very nice. Wow, look at this right here. It says, try me, press the button. I'm gonna press it. That is so beautiful. This is only $199. $199 for that. I think that is such an amazing deal. And I think you can even get your discount on it. Wow. Normally in the back they have a really nice sake bar, but it's actually closed at the moment and they're using it as a cashier area, but it's letting you know. It says sake bar closed, cashier, cashier, and a lot of pocky. But wowee, what in an amazing day. I had so much fun coming out here, trying a new restaurant and just enjoying my time. I'm so happy that I'm like branching out and doing new things. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. So we'll see you next time. Bye! Not before saying hi to the man himself.